Hey everyone, so I've just done um, a video with um, my daily positivity card and I thought that um, <coughs> I'd uh, show you the rest of my other cards uh, that I've got. Um, I might even do like a little reading for myself, not right now, but I just want to show you my other cards. Um, now I know there's a, you know, a bit of a stigma behind tarot cards and oracle cards. Like I've said in the past, you know, um, people think they're evil. You know, in the Bible it says that you know they're evil and, and, and whatnot. Um, the thing is, is they're not. Um, if you actually learn about tarot, um, it, it's it's actually it started off uh, in medieval times, I think, um, if I remember rightly, um, as a, a card game, you know. And then in the 1700s, they started using it for divination, uh, reading into the cards, reading into the pictures. Um, obviously, somebody made a connection with the cards to the universe, you know, um, paid attention to it, and they started reading. Well, this is what I think, I don't know, it might not have really been that way, but you know, it, it seems quite plausible. Um, you know, a bit like me, <laughs> with these cards, you think, ah, a load of bollocks, you know? <laughs> and then you start fucking around with them, and it's like, wow! <laughs> now, you know, it's, it's <clears throat> they're not bad. Um, basically, it, I see them as a way to look into my own psyche. Um, and to connect with the universe. Um, some people call the universe God, you know? Um, and you, you know, you turn to the Bible to look for advice, you know? You can turn to the cards to look for advice, and it's all good. Um, you know, I know there's a devil card in there, but that's nothing to do with worshipping the devil. Um, basically, it, it's uh, the energy, the devil energy, the negative energy, um, the toxic energy, uh, narcissistic energy, you know? I've, I've linked it all together into a, a whole, you know? Um, tarot basically is uh, the universe's way of helping you along to, um, to grow and to understand yourself and others around you. Um, you know, a little bit of insight into the decisions that you make um, and the actions that you take. Um, yeah, it can, it can tell you past, present and future, you know, but you, you've always been in control of that, you know. You know, right from wrong, you know, good from bad, and you always make your choices. Uh, there's always two choices to make. Well, there's three choices. You can be neutral and not make a choice at all, you know. <laughs> You know, and that, that's, that's usually the way to go, um, well, for the most of it anyway. Obviously, on the, the important decisions, you make the good, good decisions. Um, and your life will, will reflect that and be rewarded by that, you know. Um, they tell you about um, how you can better yourself, um, better your soul, you know, let your soul speak, be true you. Um, how to get over trauma, you know, um, what to be watchful for, you know, it's, it's the same as the death, the death card is nothing to be frightened of at all, it doesn't mean death, it doesn't mean somebody's going to die, I mean, I suppose there could be a reading uh, along the lines of, but it all depends on, on where the cards land, um, there could be house warnings, yes, um, but, you know, it's for your own, own care, you know, it, it will say about certain aspects, you know, um, you know, if you, 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 you're unhealthy, you're a smoker, you know, it, it'll point things out like that, you know, the danger of, of, of dying from that, like like everybody else, you know, you get a warning on a cigarette packet, you know, you get the warning in, in, <laughs> in your tarot cards of ill health, you know, but it doesn't actually mean death, it means the ending of something and the beginning of something else. Yes, in a different spread with other cards, you know, it could point to a health issue, but when it comes just by itself, you know, with cards that don't represent health issues, it means the ending of something, a stage in your life, uh, a relationship, a job, a way of thinking, uh, you know, it could be um, the ending of a season, you know, in the beginning of a new one. Um, an ending of a, a creative project in the beginning of a new one, you know, it, it, 
could be it's just what relates to you in your life um, an ending of a certain pattern a certain cycle uh, a certain ability you know the beginning of something else a uh, journey um, you know, and with the full card, you know that that is the beginning of a, a journey. And if you get that with the death card, then you, you're definitely starting on a new journey. You know, and, and it's the ending of something and the beginning of something else. Um, yeah, so the, the not to be frightened of. It's like uh, the tower card. I know people are frightened of the tower card. You get it's basically it's, it's a wake up call. You know, it, it, it's it's an event that makes you stand back and make you see reality. Um, it can have be good and bad, you know, you can have good towers and bad towers, you know, um, and you have to have these sorts of things, you have to have this moment of realisation in your life, whether things are good or bad, that it's good or bad, and you need to make a decision on that behalf, you know, do I carry on what I'm doing, because it's, 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 it's been, I've had a really bad time and this is, oh, this is what's happened because of it, or do I carry on because I've had a really good time in the tower and it, it, whoa, it's a new way of thinking and, you know, should I carry on going that way? You know, um, there's so much into it, but it's all good. Um, the psychology behind it, um, I've been watching some of my favourite readers on YouTube and I mean, you get the ones that go, oh, you're going to die, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, blah, 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 blah. But you get the sensible ones that read the energy, um, read the situation behind what the cards are telling you. Um, and it, 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 it's just how it's about improving yourself um, and what to watch out for um, and how you might slip back into negative aspects of your life and um, basically what will happen if you keep moving forward into the positive aspects um, and this is what I've paid attention to um, since November really December, November, December well when I got my first set of tarot cards my kind of friend Heather um, bought me these um, uh, is it Rider Lake? yeah the Rider Lake deck um, it's, they are very nice cards, um, and they are the, the tr traditional sort of I'll set of cards, I think. Um, but I do have lots of others. I have the same sort of cards, but slightly different. And these are called the Light Seas Tarot. Now these are lovely because they're all shiny, <laughs> but they've all got different pictures on them, um, different to what these are. But they've got the same meanings, you know. Maybe slightly. In, in the booklets, there's, there's slightly different wording, you know. Um, and then I've got these ones, I love these ones. The Wild Unknown Pocket Tarot. These are gorgeous cards, they've got all animals on them and everything. They're beautiful, little birds and, and owls and things like that. Uh, the artwork's amazing. Um, and, and they're the same as well, but they give a slightly different, but same kind of answer. Um, um, it's nice to use them and um, these are my favourites at the moment uh, these well the Alexias and the Wild Unknown and these fairy ones are my newest fairy blessings cards the artwork on these is, is just absolutely beautiful being an artist you know it, I get drawn to these sorts of things um, so you saw, saw those ones Oops. They're very strong cards. They're just, I might actually do a reading for myself for these and do a video um, and these ones because they are very quite um, spot on with what they come out with, with my own experiences. Um, these ones are beautiful. Box by Kitsu, um, Japanese um, traditions, mythology, and things like that uh, to do with the fox, foxes and fox fire. Kitsu, uh, it's all like fairies and mermaids and, and um, foxes and you know, all the beautiful aspects of nature, you know. Um, now this one, Isis, Isis Oracle. Now don't go, oh, Isis, you know, Taliban, you know, oh, terrorism. No, 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 this, this is the Egyptian goddess, Isis. Um, these are beautiful cards. Um, it's uh, the Egyptian sort of... Um, 
mythology, well, not mythology, but the, 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 uh, their gods and things like that. It's to do with those and uh, sort of like um, connecting with the earth and the universe and, and, and um, giving you masculine and feminine strengths. Um, yeah, the artwork on them are absolutely amazing as well. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Now these ones, these ones freak me out. They're spooky. <laughs> Moonology cards. Um, they are very accurate. Very accurate. Um, <laughs> I said these ones. I, I did my daughter a reading with these ones, and he told her to stop sulking. <laughs> that was exactly what she was doing. <laughs> she got gutty. But yeah, um, we had a laugh about that. But yeah, I freaked out a few of her friends with this, these ones. I freaked out myself with all these ones. Um, the stuff that they come out with, it's like you, you just cannot ignore the information. You really can't. Now these ones, star seed ones, they're lovely. Um, the artwork as well, again, amazing. Um, th these are more about um, opening yourself up to your soul um, and the universe, um, and they help you. Um, they have positive affirmations and. and they help you discover things about yourself and, and how to work on your kinder side of things. You know, um, the star, star seeds obviously uh, were sent down from from up there. You know, we come from up there. We've been put on this earth with a mission to to heal and to help people. You know, um, you know that. How can you think they were evil? <laughs> Just because the Bible says so. Uh, you know, it's. It, 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 it's, it's ridiculous, you know. It, they've expanded me so much um, in my healing and my self knowledge and, and moving forward. It's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> you can't ignore the, the stuff that it comes out with. It's just like, oh my god, that's me. Uh, that's what's going on right now. Uh, yeah. Now, people might get a bit um, freaked out about magic as well. Um, now, basically, it's just. Positive affirmation cards again. Um, magic to me is it all depends on the person again. Uh, you create your own magic. You do it manifesting. You know, praying to the Lord. You know, you, you ask the Lord for this and that to happen. Um, spirituality. Uh, you ask the universe for this and that to happen. If, you know, as long as it's good and nice and kind, and you know, you deserve it. Um, magic, witchcraft, yes, you get the nasty side of things. You'll get people wishing ill on other people. Um, I don't do that, I never will. Um, you know, that's what brings your bad karma. But it's the same as a narcissist, you know, wishing you bad. You know, like, oh, I hope you die or I hope all this happens to you and things like that. But they just put incantations behind it and thought process behind it. It's like repeating over and over again. That's an incantation. But you repeat a prayer over and over again. You pre uh, repeat an affirmation over and over again. You know, they're all intermingled, but it's all to do with the person behind it. Um, do you send out good intention, good energy, good prayers, good thoughts, good spells? Or do you send out negative energy? Do you send out negative spells? Do you pray bad on people? You know, do you pray that they have harm happen to them? You know, it's all to do with, with who a person is, a narcissist or an empath. An empath. <laughs> empath. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Um, um, now these ones, the soul's journey. These are very good for looking deep in, inside your own psyche. Um, about how to let things go, how to move forward, um, with whatever, you know, past relationships, past experiences, um, how to heal, how to move forward, you know, it just gives you a little bit of insight on, on how to understand yourself and, um, yeah, it's more about yourself and how you react to the world around you. Um, and it's, it's good to have a bit of confirmation. It's like the same as like I do a um, birth one, it's called Astro Matrix on um, my phone, it's an app. And I do my birth chart, you know, put your, um, your name when you was born and all that, where, where you was born and all that. And it comes out with absolute mind blowing stuff. Uh, it's had me sat in tears, um, just with the accuracy. 
um, because it, it's later on in my life that I can actually read from when I was young growing up, but that when I got older and older and older, and it just all could, you know, it just looks lots of different. It's like, oh my god, um, and that, that I started that about well, just after I moved in here, about three, just over three, um, just under three years ago, I uh, started it. I've been here for just over three years. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> it was that was that was what woke me up to spirituality and um, the cards because they they've got like little card readings and stuff and, and different types of cards and um, you pick and choose your own. Um, but yeah, it goes through your birth chart and, and your aspects of who you are and what you've been through and you know what's going on in your life and the things that upset you, the things that make you happy. <laughs> It's quite mad to actually read through and have something there staring back at you saying, This is you. You go, Oh my god, it is. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> but we're all connected. We're all connected to the universe. You know, it's hard not to, to see signs and take note when, when you actually ask and you look for it. Now, these ones are beautiful again angel cards, you know, and these are actually cards of encouragement from your angels, um, you know, um, also affirmations um, about giving yourself confidence and that you're protected and, you know, it, it, they make you feel like you're not alone, which you're not. Uh, we are all connected, we're all connected to the universe, whether we, we like it or not. I mean, even in science, you know, you can see with the cosmic web that we're connected, you know, all the galaxies are connected to the universe in one way or another, every single bit of space dust, every bit of dark matter, you know, and the dark energy that, that, that's uh, the, 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 one of the fundamental forces of, of the universe, um, you know, it's, it, it, you see it in fractals, you know, it goes from the big to the small, you know, Everything's connected with the mycelium, you know, all the trees, all the plants, all the everything's connected by a big root system. Um, uh, deep into the earth, you know, and even the solar system's connected to itself. It's like we're in this big bubble of protectedness, you know, and, and then we're in this other big bubble of protectedness, the universe. And we don't know what's behind that after that. I mean, I have my own theories. Uh, you know, I do think that we might be in some massive um, galaxy that that we can't even see, you know, and that was just what the Big Bang was, it was just two, one dormant galaxy colliding into another, uh, into a, an active galaxy on, a, on a, such a grander scale and, and causing um, the Big Bang, you know, all, all this gases to mix and star formation and all this, um, you know, so many different aspects, isn't there? You know, so many different theories, one after another one. Um, but yeah, you know, it's the same as the theories about life, the universe, universe being alive. You know, it makes sounds, it, it reacts. It, how can it not be alive? You know, it reacts like a living being, living, breathing, growing being. You know, how can we say that it's not life? It's just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we're all connected, and, and I use these these cards. Oh, thank you, whoever uh, Andrea for my subscriber. Yay! Another one. Thank you very much. I'm nearly, nearly at 150 now. Andrea Deluca, thank you. I think you're my 149th subscriber. So it's very much appreciated, and I hope you enjoy my videos. But yeah, I think I'm going to do myself um, a little reading. Um, and maybe you'd, you'd be able to, from what, what you know about me, you'd be able to um, see if they relate, relate to, to my own experiences and what I'm going through at the moment. So I will do it for, like today, what, I'll ask the question, like, um, uh, uh, how, how would I have to see I'm, I'm new at this anyway, really, so I'm, I'm having to work things in the right way and ask the right questions. Um, oh, I'm just stuck what's going on in my life right now, you know, um, and, and see what comes out, you know, and we'll see if it, it relates to any of the stuff that's been going on in my life, um, and then you can see for yourself. <laughs> it's quite good. 
but I shall end this one now, I've showed off my cards, um, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use, I think it's probably the big two fairy ones, or maybe the wild unknown, I do like those ones, um, maybe freak out with the immunology one, <laughs> we'll see, <laughs> but I shall say goodbye now, um, I don't even know what I'm going to call this video because I completely forgot what I was going about, uh, I think it was just the cards I was going about, um, I don't know, uh, yeah, I think it was. Um, just showing up inside my cards. My other four cards. Uh, there was no other things, I think. Uh. <laughs> right. I shall um, say goodbye and, and give myself a reading. Happy buying, see you soon.